Welcome back to Tanya in 5. The last few days we've been studying chapter 13. Having established in chapter 12 the identity of the Benini, the one in the middle. Part of him is just like a tzaddik in that his thought, speech, and action are in perfect accord with the divine will expressed in Jewish law. Whereas his feelings, his instincts, his desires might be exactly like the Russia, like the wicked one who desires all kinds of things. And we talked about the self-control and the discipline that is required of this Bainani. Now in chapter 13, tells the, us the Alter Rebbe that what this means is that the Bainani really has two voices, two judges sitting in the head giving its opinion. On the one hand, the godly soul is giving its opinion, telling the person, behave in accordance to God's desire. On the other hand, there's the animal soul giving its opinion, saying, behave in the way that's best for you, with self-interest. So where does the Bainani get the strength to rule in accord with the godly soul, to behave in thought, speech, and action in a manner that God wants? And to this Delta but tells us that there are really two things. The first is that there is a third judge. The third judge, the third opinion, is God's opinion. God himself, of course, weighs on the side of the godly soul and gives the godly soul the strength to implement his opinion. And that the thought, speech, and action should be indeed the way the godly soul wants it in accordance with God's desires expressed in Torah. The second thing is the Bainanese prayer. During prayer, during tefillah, when the Jew spends time to connect his mind to godly ideas and take these godly ideas to heart, implement them into the way he feels, during those moments, the Bainanese feels a true attachment and love of God. Even though it's true that once prayer is over, the animal soul is right back to where it was, and this person, this Benini, goes back to desiring all kinds of negative things like every other human being on the planet, which might make one think that the way he felt during prayer was a farce. Because if it was real, shouldn't I always feel that way? Says the Alter, but that's not true. Maybe compared to the Tzaddik, who feels love and attachment for God 24-7, your love of God during prayer isn't 100% true. But considering the context of your life, a Benini, who is not expected to feel 24-7 for God, you're born with an animal soul that feels selfish. Then the feelings you feel during prayer are absolutely true. And there are two things that prove this. Number one, when you pray tomorrow morning, you can pick up right from where you left off today during prayer. If you reached a certain level of attachment to God during prayer today, then tomorrow morning when you pick up and pray, you can, go bro, you can go right back to that space and build from there. Proof that it's not totally gone, even when you're feeling the desires of the animal soul. Number two, throughout the day, when the desires of the animal soul are raging within me, I can hearken back to how I felt during prayer and draw strength from there in my struggle against the my inner desires of the animal soul that's pushing me to God forbid sin. The takeaway from all of this is two things. Number one, always remember that you are capable of sinning. Even if you feel like you do during prayer, and even if you felt that way all day long, I feel so attached to God, I would never sin. Don't think that way. You'll, you'll lower your guard and you might God forbid slip. Remember that you're not a tzaddik, and you're always capable of sinning, even if right now you happen to not feel that way. Conversely, and this is takeaway number two, don't think that just because when prayer is over, you stop feeling the way you did during prayer, that it means somehow your prayer was a farce. That's not true. Your prayer was absolutely true and your feelings for God then were absolutely true. And not only that, but when you're about to sin, remind yourself, how did you feel during prayer? Would someone like that do an act like that? Looking forward to seeing you when we conclude chapter 14.